You are watching Coin Collecting Fun. You are so awesome. Coin Collecting Fun, where it is all about you, you, and more. You. Coin Collecting Fun, the king of hobbies and the hobby of kings. It's not about me. It's not about my. It's not about mine. It's about you. And that is why this video is designed especially for you. Hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and is greatly appreciated. And after this video is over, check out the link below this video in the description section to see a cool coin from the Philippines. That video currently has over 900 likes. Let's get that video to over 1,000 likes. Again, the link is below this video in the description section. Also, that video has over 2,700 comments. Let's get that video to over 5,000 comments. Again, the link is below this video in the description section. And finally, that video has over 62,000 views. Let's get that video to over 100,000 views. Again, the link is below this video in the description section. If you enjoy this type of content, crush the like button, crush the subscribe button, and if you do decide to subscribe, tap the notification bell to be notified of future coin collecting fun videos just as soon as they're uploaded to YouTube, and be sure to share this video with all your coin collecting friends out there. So here's a 1993 Lincoln Penny, a 2013 D. Jefferson Nickel, and finally a 2020 P. Roosevelt Dime. What do all three of these coins have in common? Well, I found all three of these on the ground within the last 24 hours in different spots just by looking down and keeping my eyes out. I got paid free money just for finding free money. And then hopefully if this uh, video does well and generates a lot of ad revenue, then I'll get paid twice. Once from picking up the coins and then the second time from getting paid from YouTube for having ad revenue for this video. So these are absolutely wonderful coins. Let's talk about the 2013, or actually let's talk about the uh, 1993 Lincoln Penny first. So this coin has a face value of one cent. It also has a numismatic value of one cent for one found in average circulated condition, but can be worth as much as one dollar for one found in certified mint state. Five billion six hundred and eighty four million. 705,000 were produced. This is a look at the front of the coin, or what's known as the obverse of the coin, where we see Abraham Lincoln in the center of the coin facing right, and God we trust at top, Liberty at left, 1993 at lower right, which is the minute year that is when this coin was produced. Now let's go ahead and flip this coin over and take a look at the reverse side of the coin, where we see United States of America, E Pluribus Unum, the Lincoln Memorial, and one cent, which is the coin's face value. And normally you can see Abraham Lincoln statue at the very center of the coin, just as it would appear if you were to visit the Lincoln Memorial in person. On some coins, it's kind of worn out. And in this coin, in this coin's case, it looks a little bit dirty, but it's supposed to be right there. It might be kind of covered up by all the corrosion and dirt found on this coin. But hey, it's still free money. I got paid one cent for picking up this coin five cents for picking up this coin and 10 cents for picking up that coin. So that's 16 cents I got paid and then hopefully I'll make more than 16 cents on the ad revenue. But you never know, it could be more or it could be less. All right, so we've reviewed the 1993 Lincoln Penny. Now let's take a look at the 2013 D Jefferson Nickel, which has a face value of five cents. It also has a numismatic value of five cents for one found in average circulated condition, but can be worth as much as 27 cents for one found in uncirculated mint state 60 condition, and can be worth as much as 55 cents for one found in brilliant uncirculated mint state 65 condition. As of the time of this video production, which is October 26, 2021, 615 million 600,000 were produced. We're looking at the front of the coin, or what's known as the obverse of the coin, or you can simply call this heads, where we see Thomas Jefferson on the left side of the coin, and God we trust at upper right, Liberty at lower right, in Jefferson's own handwriting. 2013, which is the minute year, that is when this coin was produced, and the mint mark D, just below the minute year of 2013, that rep represents the Denver, Colorado mint. Now let's go ahead and flip this coin over and take a look at the back of the coin, the reverse of the coin, or you can simply call this tails, where we see Pluribus Unum, and we see Monticello, which is a large home Jefferson built for himself, 
five cents, which is the face value. This coin will never drop below the face value of five cents. And United States of America, that is the country where this coin was produced. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the final coin here. So we reviewed these coins, a penny, the nickel. Now let's look at the dime. This beautiful dime was found on the ground as well. All three of these coins are found on the ground within the last 24 hours. The 2020p Roosevelt dime had a minage number of 1,397,600,000 were produced. The face value, of course, is 10 cents. The numismatic value is also 10 cents for one found in average circulated condition, but can be worth $2.22 for one found in brilliant uncirculated mint state 65 condition. Again, at the time of this filming, which is October 26, 2021, we're looking at the front of the coin or what's known as the obverse of the coin. You can simply call this heads where we see Roosevelt in the center of the coin, Liberty and God We Trust, the Mint Mark P representing the Philadelphia Mint 2020, which is the minute year of this coin. And then it's really small, but if you look very carefully, you can see JS. That stands for John Sinock, the designer and engraver of this coin. So this has been a lovely look at the front of the coin, the obverse, or you can simply call this heads. Let's take a look at the back of the coin, or you can call it the reverse, or tails. United States of America, e pluribus unum, one dime. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And again, check out the link below this video in the description section to see a cool coin from the Philippines. That video currently has 900 likes. Let's get that video to over 1,000 likes. That video has over 2,700 comments. Let's get that video to over 5,000 comments. That video has over 62,000 views. Let's get that video to over 100,000 views. Again, the link is below this video in the description section.